week, and uh, I just wanted to tell you, but something bad happened happened yesterday. I was down at the swimming hole down yonder at, at the creek, and I got bit by an alligator. Okay, I know, I know it's it, it's very scary, but here, let me let me show you. Take a look at this. And, and and I couldn't get I couldn't get the alligator to let go. It took a long time to pry his jaws open, but it was really really hard. But but I'm doing much better now. Let go, alligator! Let go, alligator! Oh. Now see, it's an alligator, not a crocodile. If it was a crocodile, you could like tickle it or make it laugh or something. But an alligator. So yeah, that's what happened this week. You got to be careful when you go swimming. You know down the swimming hole in the summertime because those alligators will come out and they'll get you. You know, I don't like swimming in a swimming hole as much as a swimming pool because I don't want fish coming and, and nibbling on my on my toes. You know, the water's not that deep, but you just don't know what's going on. You see, when you put a, you put a face mask and a snorkel on and you go snorkeling around, then you can really see what's going on under the water. And, uh, you know, it, you may not always want to know what's going on under the water. I was going to get one of those things to film underwater, but like I said, you may not want to know what's going on underwater. Because if you actually filmed underwater where you swim and you see the garbage and the junk and the, and the scary fish under there, then, you know, you may not want to be swimming out there anymore. Okay? It's very, very important that you realize swimming in natural bodies of water are just... It's dangerous. Like, remember that picture from that movie, what was that, Jaws? And, the, and, that, and that lady was swimming, that naked lady was swimming, that big Jaws was coming up underneath her. Dun, 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 dun. Okay? Because that the whole time I'm swimming, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, something's big coming up, gonna bite me. Even, even if I'm not naked when I'm swimming. Okay? But swimming pools are much better because, well, well, no, because, you know, there is that swimming pool shark thing where you can find sharks in your swimming pool. I guess that can be scary too, but you can check your swimming pool first, and you can make sure nobody's in there before you go go swimming, you know. But you can't do that in a natural body of water, and don't 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 be fooled because sharks can come. They can swim up big rivers and into little creeks, and you can be in a little creek that's only four feet deep, and and there could be a shark in there. Okay, so you really gotta you, you gotta be careful where you go swimming. In some places, more dangerous than others. Because you have to worry about sharks and alligators, or sharks and crocodiles. So, you know, you got to... And then, around around here, down at the coast, not too far away, last week, there were killer whales in Tillamook Bay. And, and that's the town of Tillamook, which is... Where is Tillamook? Tillamook is like halfway between maybe Newport, Oregon, and Astoria, or, or Lincoln City. And, and, and it's in that area. It's not, it's not, it, it's not too far away. It's on the coast. Uh, maybe someday when I go down there I'll do some filming. But the killer whales were in the bay and they were probably looking for sea lions. And, and before you say, oh my gosh, that's horrible. They're eating those cute sea lions. You got to remember around here sea lions aren't very popular because they eat salmon. Salmon's a protected species and, and also a very tasty species of fish. And, and the sea lions will come all the way up the Columbia River to the first dam at Bonneville. And when the fish come out of the fish ladders, they'll eat them up. So they've been trying to get rid of those sea lions. So if, if the killer whales come into the bay and eat the sea lions, there are a lot of people happy about that. But still, you don't want a killer whale to, to eat you on accident thinking you're a sea lion. That's really scary. But then again, that's a problem with swimming in a natural body of water, right? So stick to the swimming pools, summertime, stick, indoor pools are better because you don't ever have to worry about sharks getting in an indoor pool or an above ground pool, okay? It's only in ground, outdoor pools that sharks can get in there and then they can eat you, okay? Alright, that's just words of advice from Bernice. Okay, until next week, ta-ta!